Well, all eyes are on Georgia as voters in the Peach State will decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. Joining me now to talk about the changes in both houses of Congress, including some very surprising gains for Republicans in California, former California Republican Party Chair Tom Del Beccaro. Good to see you again, Tom. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Now, the Democrats in Georgia, John Ossoff and Ralph Warnock, are trying to portray themselves as kind of moderate Democrats, but I believe they're anything but, don't you? Yeah, 100%. Always good to see you, David. Both of them are anti-Second Amendment. You you have uh, Warnock talking about the fact that uh, policemen are thugs, and you know, also talk, talking about stacking the Senate with making Puerto Rico a, sta a state and others so that, you know, in the reality, this is a good microcosm of the entire country. Two very far left senators against two mainstream Republicans and at risk is the U.S. Senate. So it's a national race that comes down to a bunch of Georgia voters who probably don't want to be in this position, but they also don't want the Senate going Democrat. Right. And, and these, this is the reason why. We put up on the, on the screen there the stakes for the Georgia Senate races. If the Democrats win both of those Senate seats, uh, we will invariably see an increase in taxes, which could come at just the wrong time coming out of a recession, could send us into a double-dip recession, pack the Supreme Court, uh, even though uh, Biden wouldn't answer specifically on that. It's clear that a lot of people in the Democratic Party would try to do that. The Iran nuclear deal, they could turn that into a treaty authorized by the Senate. And then statehood for D.C. and possibly Puerto Rico as well. That would assure Democratic victories for, for decades to come. So the stakes are very high. Yeah, and keep in mind, Kamala Harris is farther left than Joe Biden, and if she ever became president because Biden didn't fulfill his term, they could get it then. So these seats are really important. And, you know, in Georgia, there may have been an anti-Trump vote among some Republicans, but that doesn't cross over, per se, into this Senate election. So I think there's a better than even chance they pick up both seats. And of course, wow. both Republicans got more votes than the Democrats. What if Donald Trump goes out and campaigns hard for uh, the Republicans? <sighs> Well, we'll have to see. You know, uh, let's flip that. I would say, David, that what's really happening right now is all these far left picks for the Biden cabinet are scaring rank and file Georgians because they see how far left he's willing to right. go just so he can be uh, proven to be president. He's moving early on these things. That far left nature of his uh, picks will hurt the, the Democrats in the Georgia races January 5th. Well, let's let's t move to California if we can, because uh, from your perspective... No, I you don't want to come here. Well, but it, there's some pretty good news from your perspective. You had two, at least, uh, two Republican uh, women, both of Asian descent, uh, who actually beat out incumbents. Michelle Park Steele, representing 48th Congressional District, Young Kim, representing 39th District, and a couple are still in the, in the balance. So... Uh, you guys are making progress there. What's happening to California voters? Yeah, well, both of them, friends of mine, uh, Young Kim and Michelle Steele, Orange County, they never should have flipped the other way. Now those people they ran against had a voting record, so they were able to, again, prove to be mainstream Republicans against liberal Democrats. I think David Valadeo in the Central Valley will be the third seat that's picked up. Also, Gavin Newsom's tax hike, Prop 15, was rejected. The anti-Uber lift that Newsom supported was rejected. And the cashless bail, which you talked about earlier, that was rejected that as was well. That was good news, so yeah. When government breaks down, sometimes voters pay attention, even in California. Right. And in local races, Stockton, California, which has uh, always gone to the left, you have a very bright new star, Kevin Lincoln. He's a black Latino Marine veteran. Uh, he unseated a liberal Democrat there as a mayor. Yeah, yeah. and Stockton it, it had troubles years before, bankruptcy and the like. So voters are, ta are, are pushing back, which is why we have over 800,000 signatures to recall Gavin Newsom as well, including through my new pack, rescuecalifornia.org. All right. Well, it is it is the land of Reagan, or at least it was at one point. Maybe it's going back. Tom, great to see you. Tom Del Beccaro, appreciate it.